Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So I said today I was gonna rebuild the raptor side of things of them trading OG and Anobi. And today we are doing it, like I said. So right now the Raptors are 12 and 20 on this season. And then we all know the trade at this point, right? So basically the trade was the Raptors that are sending OG and Anobi over to the New York Knicks for RJ Barrett, Emmanuel Quickly, and also um, I think it was somebody else, right? It was Melkai Flynn. And then they're getting in return basically. Actually, no, I think yeah, that was the trade that just said it. So um that's the trade right there. They're sending Malachi Flynn also in the deal to New York, but definitely feel like it was a really, really amazing trade for the Toronto Raptors to go ahead and do. They finally got rid of OG and Anobi, and they got two really skilled players in return to RJ Barrett and a man real quickly, which these guys could really turn into something in the future, and I definitely think they will. It was a really, really good trade for the Toronto Raptors. They got two really good players. I love that trade, and for the Knicks, they got OG and Anobi, which is a really good addition. I feel like he fits their team kind of perfectly, but um, I don't know if it really moves the needle for them. But I heard they're not done making moves. They still have Evan Fournier's contract, and I f and I heard their next player they're gonna go after is Dejounte Murray. So keep that in mind that they're not done making moves. So the Raptors have traded for, like I said, they traded Ojinobi for RJ Barrett and Emmanuel quickly. So your rotation heading um after you know getting OJ and Obi, they want to run a rotation of Emmanuel quickly, Gary Trent Jr., Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, Yakum Pertle, RJ Barrett, Dennis Schroeder, Thaddeus Young, Chris Boucher, Otto Porter, and J. Jalen McDaniel. So, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move. Um, I'm probably gonna move RJ Barrett to the two, and then he goes down to an 80, which is fine. So we'll start RJ Barrett and quickly together. I don't know if they're gonna continue to start Dennis Schroeder next to quickly, but I figure they might maybe start Schroeder. But for the sake of the video, I'm probably gonna start him in a quickly for now. Actually, might actually I think we're gonna have quickly come off the bench for now. Actually, uh, we'll start him. We'll start him. Why not, man? So quickly, RJ, Scotty Barnes, Siakam, Yakum, Perlo, Dennis Schroeder, Gary Trent. I'm actually gonna go out and run a nine rotation. There's no need at all to run a uh, freaking eleven man rotation. So I don't. I don't know if they're running that in real life, but if they are, I'm speaking it to a nine man, obviously. So that is your nine man rotation. We got McDaniels out of the rotation, which is a 73 overall. I feel like it's fine. Then I feel like we can go ahead and send Grady Dick down to the G League. And then, uh, once again, I'm not making, I'm not done making moves either. I want to go and stop at the trading line and trade Pascal Siakam because I feel like after doing that, they're kind of entering like a little retool here. So we can maybe look to trade Pascal Siakam and Yakum Pirtle if we find good offers for them and maybe we trade somebody like Chris Boucher as well. We'll see what happens. I will see you guys at the trade deadline to see you guys with the pass out the Occam trade. Okay, so we are at the trade deadline. We um we were now we're twenty and thirty one, so it doesn't make it any better. I'm still trading pass out Siakam. So that's the main thing I want to do here. I want to get rid of Siakam and then we can start a whole retool here in Toronto. So some teams that will be interested in Paso Siakam. There's actually a couple of teams that just came up. So, um, the the uh, one team that's interested is the Indiana Pacers here. They can definitely use a power forward next to Terry Halliburton. The other team that was interested is the Dallas Mavericks. This one just came out today, I think so. So they can maybe look for a third superstar for Luke and Kyrie. That can definitely help out Luca, man, because without Kyrie, Luca, let's be honest, he's been absolutely carrying this team. Another team I think that was interested, yeah, it was the Sacramento Kings. So, not quite sure what they can offer to get him, but, you know, it would be interesting to see him in Sacramento. Now, I feel like Miss Ujiri would definitely ask for Keegan Murray. But um, we'll see what happens. So what team do I really want to, want to trade Siakam to? To be honest, I think the most like real option would be the Indiana Pacers. I definitely think they could land somebody like Siakam with the expiring contracts that we that they have. So first, let's try to send Siakam, to, or we can send him to the Mavericks once again, since they have expiring contracts. But you know, I feel like I feel like just the this Indiana Pacers makes so much sense for Siakam, in my opinion. Obviously, they're ready to contend. And Halliburton needs help, you know. The second star next to him would be amazing. So, let's see what I want for, um, or what they can give me for Siakam. So, as well, Siakam, right, to the Indiana Pacers. Um, I feel, who, I feel like I would want maybe, um, I mean, Benedict Marathon would be amazing to trade, but I just, I um, mean, we might honestly, I'm going to try to get Benedict Marathon in the deal, too. Honestly, I don't know where we would put him. 
Um, but I mean, we can move Barnes to the yeah, that would make sense. We can have quickly, um, Benedict Matherin, Scotty. Actually, no, yeah, we, we would have quickly Benedict Matherin, RJ Barrett, and then Scotty Barnes to the floor. That would make some sense. So, I like it. So, we get Benedict Matherin once again. I don't know if the Pacers will be one to trade Benedict Matherin in any deal, but I'm also gonna want Buddy Healed in the trade. So, Benedict Matherin, Buddy Healed, and then let's see what else we can get. So, um, the fifth would be maybe Jairus Walker, to be honest. So, Jairus Walker as well in the trade. So, Benedict Mather, Buddy Hill, Jairus Walker. And then maybe we can ask for, like, a 2026 first-round pick and also a 2028 first-round pick. So, we're getting Benedict Mather, Buddy Hill, Jairus Walker, and two firsts for Pascal Siakam. I'll go and throw some body at them as well to entice them to make the trade, like Otto Porter Jr. So, Pascal Siakam and OPJ for Benedict Mather and Buddy Hill, Jairus Walker and two first round picks. I'll be okay with the not getting Jairus Walker, but once again, I really like Jairus Walker, so I'll even add a second. See what they say to this, and they are going to decline, which is which is very fair. I guess I'll let go of one first round pick, see what they say, and they're still going to decline. Okay, this might be a little too rich for them to give away Jairus Walker as well, which I, I guess I agree. But, um, and I guess I'm saying you can give me Jalen Smith, sure, so see if Jalen Smith gets it done, and they want Scotty Barnes, no, I'm gonna use Scotty Barnes, pal, but, um, guess no Jalen Smith then, I mean, who else would I, they want to give me TJ McConnell in the trade, but if I'm getting TJ McConnell, I obviously want another first round pick in the trade, so, see if they say to this, and they're still on the decline, I guess, only one first round pick, we're getting better at Mathurin, which is fine, I guess, so let's see if they say, and they're gonna decline, um, I just don't want, like, Buddy Hill, Benedict Matherin, straight up. We can't even do that. That won't match the salary, so we're going to need to have one more person here. I want, I want a Jared Walker, but, I mean, I, I don't want Jordan Nuora, but I guess we're getting Benedict Matherin in the trade for Siakam, which I guess is fine. See if they agree to this, and they want Scotty Barnes in a first for Obi Toppin. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that anytime, so... We might, I mean, we might have to not include Benedict Mather in the trade, sadly. So, we need about 19 more million, so it'd probably have to be maybe um, Bruce Brown. Yeah, it'd have to be Bruce Brown. So, But I, I wouldn't see why we'd have interest in Bruce Brown. So, um, the, unless we trade override this, this won't make sense, right? So, unless we trade override this, they're not going to do the trades. So we have to make a trade with another team. So... Other team I had in mind was, like I said, the Sacramento Kings. So let's see if we can get a deal done with them. Like I said, Masai Ujiri might want Keegan Murray in the trade. That's why. So Harrison Barnes' salary would obviously have to be in the trade. So how much more do we need? We need 60 more million. So De'Aaron Fox, Dodgers bonus. Keegan Murray, I mean, I don't know if they'd be willing to trade Kevin Herter. That's the thing. Um... Malik Monk, I mean, we can try if they want to give me Kevin Herter, but I just don't see them doing it, like, I don't know. So, I mean, all right, all right so who's, like, a young player that we have interest in? Keegan Murray. I'm going to try to, first, I'm going to try to get Keegan Murray. I'm going to try as hard as, hard as hard as I can to get Keegan Murray, but I just don't know if we can, man. Now we need six more million, so I feel like we can get, probably, like, Sasha or something like that. So, yeah, Sasha, uh, anybody else making uh, money like that? Have interest in no, so Sasha. So Harrison Barnes, Keegan Murray, Sasha, and a 2028 first round pick versus the Yakum. Then I'll go ahead and throw, like I said, Auto Porter Jr. in the trade. So I, actually, that's that's too much money, right? Yes, yeah, way too much money. Okay, so I'll throw Garrett Temple. Uh, actually, no, that's still. Um, we need it. We need somebody making two million, I think. So Daniels, I mean, that still won't work. Okay, we might not have the salary to do it, so. Sasha is making too much money, right? So Sasha's making too much money. Um, McGee, I mean, yeah, McGee would probably have to be in it, right? For like maybe, let's see. All right, so McGee. Then I'll go ahead and throw back Auto Porter. Would that work? No. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here, but um, six more million. Let's see. So I mean, Sasha. Then you give me like Mc. You have to. Okay, McDaniel still doesn't get it to work. Okay. We might have to. We might have to extend the trade even more. So let's say it's um maybe just Duarte, and then you'll give me a reporter junior. Okay, that still won't work. Okay, kind of difficult sending him to the Sacramento Kings as well. So we, we might not be able to get this done. Okay, this is too much. We're gonna get Keegan Murray, so we're not gonna get Keegan Murray. We're gonna have to do Kevin Herter instead, which sucks. I mean, pretty sure the value is not the best anymore, but no, it's whatever. 
I'm a, I want a David Mitchell. I want a David Mitchell in the trade as well. I'll give you that. He's young, whatever. So, Siakam, that is young for um, Harrison Barnes, Kevin Herter, and then I want 2026 first round pick. I say they can't trade that. They can trade 2027. Pretend this is a 2030 or 2029 first round pick. So, Barnes, Herter, David Mitchell, and two first for Pascal Siakam. Not going any less than this right here. And let's see what they say. They're still going to decline it. No way, man. Okay. I mean, we really have nothing else to throw at you guys. Like, if they want to agree to it, I mean, throw a second, I guess. See if they counter it. Uh, I'm just waiting for them to counter the trade because I know they, okay, they don't. So, looks like Harrison Barnes, Kevin Herter, Davion Mitchell, and two firsts is a little, it's apparently too much to give up for a superstar, I guess. So, let's um, move one of the first guess this is fine. I mean, what if they give me a couple seconds, I guess, that'll make up for it. Not really, but whatever. See what they say. Um, what? What is that? Okay, the proposal would... Okay, so... Um, not quite sure what this means at all, but it looks like... Hold on. So, it looks like, um... They have too much power forward depth if I do this trade. It's basically what they're saying. Okay, so, um, let's just back away from this, I think so. And then, he says there, that's not going to... Actually... I mean, if we include somebody else, maybe Auto Porter would get it done. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one more time with the case. We're spending a little bit too much time doing a Pascal Siakam trade here. So let's say Keegan Murray and then um Harrison Barnes. What was it again? Was it Kevin Herter? Oh yeah, okay. No, it wasn't. Actually, no. I I didn't wait. Did that is cook up something? Hold on. I just did it. Wow, was that easy? Okay, it was Harrison Barnes, Kevin Herter, and Keegan Murray. Now that might be too much, but I'm gonna try in 2027 first round pick. What do they say to this? I mean, I don't know why they want quickly. Daddy is young. I I don't want to trade. I mean. I'm okay with giving you that. Daddy is young in, in the trade if you want. Where did Daddy son go? He's labeled as center or whatever. I'm okay with this. I'm not giving you IQ. I'm not giving you IQ, man. I, I guess we're not getting this trade to go through, but let's see what else we can get. I'm going to try and trade with the Mavericks. I'm going to try one more time to trade with the Dallas. I'm going to try one more time with the Seattle trade, okay? Because it's getting a little too out of hand. Teams don't want to agree. So Rashawn Holmes. Maxi Kleber, and then, not Scotty Barnes, Yakam, okay, so, what else do we need, um, nine more million in the trade, okay, let's see, okay, let's see, um, I feel like we need, let's see, number million, let's see, um, Hardaway, okay, yeah, Hardaway, and then, I think it's like Jalen, okay, yeah, Jalen McDaniels, okay, so, instead, I'm gonna include Otto Porter Jr., so, Siakam, and OPJ, for Sean Holmes, Maxi Kleber, Tim Hardaway, I feel like we want a young player here, uh, I want Josh Green, I don't know if you want to agree to this, man, because we're just, we're just struggling way too much, man, and then, first round pick, this is the best I can get right here, Sean Holmes, Kleber, Tim Hardaway, Josh Green, and a first round pick, Pascal Siakam, what do you say, Dallas Mavericks? They want Daddy Young on a pick swap. They'll give me Olivia makes us prosper. You know what? It's whatever, man. It's whatever. So trade is kind of wild, but you no, know we have to. We, we we just have to get Siakam out of here at this point since we're wasting way too much time here. So Siakam, finally gone. That that took a long time, but Yakam Pertle. Let's see if we can get any offers for him. And I mean, let's see. So Zach Collins in a second. We might just feel it out for their season. We might just feel it out. I'm just going to feel it out for their season. Okay, so your rotation. IQ, RJ Barrett, Siakam, Chris Boucher, um, Yakum Pertle, Tim Hardaway, Dennis Schroeder, Matt, Gary Trent Jr., Maxi Kleber. Then a uh, 10-minute rotation. we we'll get Josh Green in here. Okay, that's your rotation. I will see you guys at the end of this season. I don't want to really contend. I don't want to make the playoffs. I want to be in the draft lottery so we can add a nice young rookie to the team. That took a long time, man. At the end of the season, Luka Doncic is MVP, but um, I'm just going to speed through this here since we took way too long to see Alcum trade, obviously, but he went 33-49 and 49 on the season. But all right, um, 33-49, and 49, like I said, so we're not in the playoffs. So let's go to the player stats here. We had 18 from Scotty Barnes, 16 from Manuel Quickly, 16 from RJ Bear, 14 from THJ, we had 13 from Schroeder, we had 12 from Gary Trent, we had... Nine and nine from Yakum Purdy, yes, seven from Chris Boucher, five from Josh Green, three from Maxi Kleber, three, three, and three. So alright, so heading into the playoffs here, let's see who is gonna win the NBA 
championship. So we got the Nuggets and the Hawks. Okay, we got the Nuggets going on the winning championship again. Finals MVP going to Nikola Jokic. So they're just unstoppable, I guess, in 2K. So got Al Horford retiring. Got all these guys retiring. But let's head straight to the draft lottery and see if we have if we got any luck or do we even have a pick in this draft or or am I tripping or do I not see it? Hold on. I think we just take for no reason, or or do we actually have a pick in this draft? I mean, it's not really I mean, taking really, but let's see. We have the. I just noticed something, fam. We don't even have a pick in the draft. You know, it's okay. I, I don't really plan on taking anyway. I mean, I did at first, but now that I realize we don't have a pick, I feel it's gonna be like just a quick little retool here, and then we can like be contenders again. So, um, Rashawn Holmes accepts player option. I mean, real quickly, I'm gonna, you know, extend that qualifying offer, free agency. All right, so we got quickly, which obviously I'm gonna resign him. I feel he's his range would be about maybe 15, 25, maybe 20 million dollars. So I'm gonna give him um, 18 million for four years. That's pretty fair in my opinion. So that's it. And then what do we got? So we can, okay, so we need to resign Gary Trent Jr. Right? So Gary Trent, gonna resign you. Um, so let's go ahead and just. Resign Gary Trent, and then after that, let's see. How about maybe three-year deal, thirteen million for Gary Trent? So quickly, and Gary Trent Jr. Welcome back to the team. After that, that might honestly be the last move. So quickly, Dennis Schroeder. We got R.J. Barrett, Gary Trent Jr., Scotty Barnes, um, Tim Hardaway, Josh Green, Jalen McDaniels. A lot of small forwards in this team. So I feel like what we can do is we, we can go ahead and move Scotty Barnes to the four now. He does go down, but he should progress anyway. So 22 years old, he should progress. So, like I said, we're running this now. We're either going to start Tim Hardaway, Josh, you know, or Jalen McDaniels, which is fun. And then I want Ray Dick to have a big role soon, but, yes, yeah, we're going to have to roll with now. So not much is done this season, but eventually we, we, we're going to start something here. So right now we're just in the process of maybe gathering some expiring contracts, make a big trade in the future. I like it, man. I like it. So player progression, let's hop into it right now. We have Scotty Barnes going up, RJ Barrett going up, Gary Trent going up, Christian Coloco going up, so he'll be our backup five. For Sean Holmes, we got Maxi Kleber, Living Rest is Prosper, Grady Dick going up. So, I like it, man, I like it. So, eventually this team will be really, really good. Just trust the process, man. Eventually it'll work, and then I'll see you guys in the rotation. So, don't know how this long, how long this video will be, but what I, what I do know is I hope we don't run into the thunder, and I hope we can win a championship for once. So, the rotation, quickly, RJ, Tim Hardaway, Scotty Barnes, Yakum Pertle, um, Dennis Schroeder, Gary Trent, Josh Green, Christian Coloco, and Chris Boucher. So, I really like the rotation, and then I will see you guys maybe, just maybe at the de trade line. Probably not, but maybe at the trade line. I'm not quite sure. Um, I might just fill it out this season with a new team, new young core, but I'll, I'll see what happens. We might step at the trade line. It's it's a 50-50 shot. So at the end of the season here, we did make the playoffs again, which is fair, I guess. We were the we were 28-58. and 58. Wow, we were one of the worst teams. Um. But let's just see who go uh, and win the championship, I guess. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot the player stats. So, um, player stats here. We got 20 from Barnes. He's progressing. 19. I mean, 16 and a half from RJ. 15 from Trent. Um, we have 15 from Quickly. 12 from Tim Hardaway. 10 and a half from Schroeder. 8 and a half from Potal. So, championship. So, we got um, the Pacers and the Nuggets. The Nuggets go on to repeat. Oh, my goodness, bro. Heading to the draft lottery, we're predicted the eighth overall pick in the NBA draft. So let's see what happens, man. Let's see what we're gonna get. I'm not gonna watch it, but um, let's see. We get pick number two. We bounce from six to two. Let's go, man. I mean, I'm really grateful, but could have got one, but I'm grateful about it. We got pick. We got pick number two in the draft. Let's go. The tanking paid off really good. So. I mean, I wouldn't I mean if Cooper Flag falls to us, man, that would be crazy. But I'm also interested in taking Dylan Harper in the draft. I mean, we can easily move quickly to the bench or something like that. Or we can go out and or we can take a small forward slash power forward. A lot of options, man. So if Cooper Flag falls to us, I'm moving Scotty Barnes to the the back to the three, then I'm trading Tim Hardaway for a first round pick. That's what we're gonna have to do. Or no, it wouldn't make sense, right? Can Tim Hardaway would be a bench piece, but Let's see, man. Is Cooper Flag gonna follow us? Did we get H. Bailey? Let's see, man. 
Number one overall pick, hugest decision. I am. They're gonna take a flag. Gosh dang it, dude. Well, I, I'm not surprised he didn't. You know, he didn't fall to two. But I mean, I am. Yeah, okay. All right. So Dylan Harper, Ace Bailey. Who do we pick? Do we get the point guard quickly to the bench? Maybe not resign Schroeder, or do we take the small forward slash power forward? Um, gonna lie, I'm kind of tempted to take Dylan Harper. I mean. Looks like the best get. Dylan Harper, welcome to Toronto. It might not work out. I mean, it might not be the best fit. Eighth Bailey would have been the better fit, but I'm taking I'm taking that each and every day, man. But Christian Coloco and Scotty Barnes going to have to be re-signed this offseason. So Tatum is a free agent. We got $24 million in cap, but obviously going to use that to go and re-sign Scotty Barnes. So Scotty Barnes, welcome. Um, Chris Boucher, I'm not going to re-sign him. Then Christian Coloco isn't interested, but I'm going to I have my ways to bring you back, buddy. So Don Harper is going to be moved to point, and he actually goes down. Interesting. Um. Didn't, I, I'm, I thought he was a Peter point guard. I don't know what happened to that, but Dylan Harper is going to be our backup point guard for now. We'll have R.J. Barrett, Gary Trent Jr., Grady Dick. We'll have um, Ashreen. So, so first, let's re-sign everybody so we, so we can go do the team thing. So I think we re-signed him Hardaway, then trade him at the trade deadline. So Hardaway will get maybe a two-year deal. I'm going to re-sign him for a two-year deal, and then he will be... Most likely trade it at the trade the line for like an expiry contract or something like that. So who knows? Somebody can pick him up. Then Coloco, I'm obviously just not gonna let you off for nothing, buddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-sign Christian Coloco. Dylan Harper, RJ Barrett, Gary Trent Jr. We have Tomorrow Way, Josh Green, Scotty Barnes, Maxi Kleber, Yakum Pertle, Christian Coloco. So what do we need to do? Sign a backup power forward, and I got the perfect idea in mind. Let's sign and trade Dennis Schroeder to a team we can get a backup power forward for. So Dennis Schroeder, you'll be signed and traded to a team that I can get a backup PF for, a backup power forward. Look around the league, I got a couple options of mine we can go ahead and go after. So, number one options I have in mind was the LA Lakers, Rui Hachimura, and Jared Vanderbilt. It says they're not on the team, but it says um, Rich Moore is not on the team, but he's on the team. He's here, so... Options definitely. Um, that actually might be players I go for because I was looking around. There's not anybody else that I really see interest in. So welcome to the team. I mean, not official yet, but I'm gonna try and go after you, obviously. So do we go after Rui? Do we go after Vanderbilt? Vanderbilt's under contract more, and he's younger, so I think we go after Jared Vanderbilt here. So let's see what we can get. So. Do we trade Tim Hardaway? That's the question. Or Josh Green. Maxi Cleaver. I forgot. We have expirings, man. Um, and then Jared Vanderbilt. Um, that matches up the salary pretty perfectly. We're going to probably have to include one more thing in here. So, how about a 2029 first? So, Cleaver, a first, and two seconds for Vando. See what they say. They're going to decline. Fairy might have to include a guy which sucks. Actually, no, we're going to sign trade Dennis Schroeder. I forgot all about that. So, a first and Dennis Schroeder. Actually, we might have to just swap right here. Vanderbilt for Schroeder. And they're going to decline, which is fair. I'll throw a 20. I mean, a second might be too cheap here. So, I'll throw two seconds at them. They're going to decline. I'll throw one more second. They're still going to decline. Okay. Might have to go a first for Vanderbilt, which, you know, I guess, I mean, the Lakers got, Lakers traded a first to get him, so I guess we can do it here. So they're going to decline, actually. Well, might have to go after Hatchamore instead, because Vanderbilt is not going to be trade eligible right now. So I tried, but Vanderbilt, it's not, they're not going to trade him. They're not going to trade him. So Hatchamore out, or we can maybe go after something else. Hatchamore might be, he might be making a little bit too much money here. So just keep looking. Um,. Nee Smith, Cameron Johnson, you can go after like Grant Williams, but I mean, I, I would have loved Vanderbilt, man, but that sucks that the Lakers not willing to trade him. Dennis Schroeder and, you know, first round pick. I mean, um, yeah, like I said, so who did I say I was going to go after? I think it was somebody, right? I think it was um, Grant Williams, right? So, I mean, we might just get away. I mean, I want one or a better option, definitely. So, I mean, Go after Ray Chimura, but I don't know if they're if they'll agree to it. But I mean, we could try Ray Chimura, and then I'll include. Actually, I have a plan. Let's include Olivier Maximin's prosper. It does suck, but we're getting a backup power forward in Jared Vanderbilt. Is it worth it? I mean, probably not. But I mean, let's try, and they're going to still decline. Although our first round pick. Finally, we got Jared Vanderbilt. Okay, we might have overpaid a huge, a lot, 
but I feel like getting Jared Venable really helps our team out. So getting defense off the bench, which we desperately need. So our bench rotation will be Dylan Harper, Gary Trent, Josh Green, and then um, Christian Coloco. We'll sound like a third string center just in case. Luke Cornet playing up the Celtics right now. Let's get him, and then hopefully these guys can develop really nicely, and then maybe we might be ready this year. Just depends, man. So, player progression. See how that's looking. We got Barnes going up. Gary Trent going up four. So, Gary Trent is developing absolutely amazing. Wow. Quickly, Hardaway. Um, Jeremy Vanderbilt going. Dylan Harper obviously going down because I moved him. To point yard, we got Christian Coloco going up. Josh Green going up. We got Ray Dick going up with Maxi Cleaver going down. So, that is your t that is your play progression. I will see you guys in the rotation. Let's go ahead and download the 2020 stage draft, guys. I don't know, man. Something about this season that kind of stands out to me. We can definitely... Upgrade in some areas, but I definitely think this season could be our season where we make the playoffs, man. But let's see all the plans. So we got quickly RJ Barrett, Tim Hardaway, Scotty Barnes, Yakum Pertle, Gary Trench, Jared Vinro, Dylan Harper, Christian Coloco, and Josh Green. This is exactly how I wanted the rotation to be. Absolutely perfect, man. So I'll, I mean, we could, like I said, upgrade from Tim Hardaway, but for now, I mean, like I said, I said I was going to trade him at the trade deadline. If we're not good, we'll go and be buyers or I mean sellers and, like, maybe trade Tim Hardaway at the de trade deadline. I think it's buyers. I don't know, but I'm going to try and trade Tim Hardaway at the deadline if we're bad. But if we're good, we can maybe use the salary in a big trade. We can get a better small forward or power forward in the trade. We can easily just go ahead and start Jared Vanderbilt if we want to, which we might actually do, which I like him off the bench. But personally, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. If Vanderbilt makes more sense, I'll start five. I'll change it, but I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Go after a center at the trade deadline here, and I'm looking at Jared Allen, but I'm also looking at some other options as well here. So, like Christoph Porzingis, right now he is averaging about 17 points per game. But I just think Jared Allen would go up more overall, and I think he'd be the better fit in my opinion. So I'm going to try to go after Jared Allen. I'm offering Yakum Pertle in the trade, and I'm also offering a 20-30 first round pick. Actually, we can't trade that, so we can't trade this either. So I guess the 2027 20, Toronto pick as well. Now, see if they say to this, and they're going to decline, which is fair. I'll offer a second. I'll offer another second. They're still going to decline. All right, so we're at the end of the season. We made the playoffs. We're the second seed, and we got to play the Washington Wizards. So the Wizards have Trey Mann, Jordan Poole, Ron Hall, Kyle Kuzma, Daniel Gaffer, Denny Avdia, Bilal Kulabali, Pinsley Woody, and Johnny Davis. I definitely think we can beat this team, but you never know. We had 23 from Barnes, 17 from RJ, 16 from Gary Trent. We had 16 from Quickly, 15 from Harper, 11 from Tim Hardaway. We had um, 6 and 7 from Yakum Pertle. We had 5 and 6 from Jared Vanderbilt. I decided to put him in the starting 5, and it worked actually really nicely. 5 from Christian Clark with four rebounds and almost a block per game, brief Josh Green. So, like I said, the Wizards in round one, and against the Wizards, we are going to beat them in four. We're going to sweep them to play the Atlanta Hawks. So, Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, AJ Griffin, Jalen Johnson, K. Kung, um, Capella, Miles Bridges, John Collins, DeAndre Hunter, and Bogdan Batnanovich. Okay. Team might be a little too crazy to beat, and actually, I was wrong with beat them in seven. Let's go. Uh, now we got Cleveland. They added Josh Giddy to the team. So, Garland and Giddy is an interesting fit. Max Drews, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, Legend Shannon, Malik Beasley, Omar Yurtsevin. Something about this team just tells me that we can beat them. I just don't think they're that good, man. I mean, no Mitchell. I just have the feeling that we can go ahead and beat this team pretty easily. They want to go back to starting quickly, which I guess they wanted to start Harper. Um, I'm running at nine man in the playoffs now, but see what happens, man. I mean, how was um Josh Green playing? Was he? I mean, uh, okay, whatever. I got Cleveland Cavaliers. We're gonna it's a tie series two two. We're gonna take the three two lead and we're gonna beat them in six to go to the finals to play Oklahoma City. <sighs> Oklahoma City, bro. Course, can no team in the east is go out and beat this team? The Spurs had Jamal Murray, Jacoby Walter, almost the man, all right, whatever. My rivalry, the Thunder. See what happens, man. Are they gonna end me here? Let's see what happens. So you can name Chris Loss, Porzingis, or Jared Allen here. And then, to be honest, I think we go after Porzingis, might make us better. I mean, Jared Allen is the better, obviously, rim protector and rebounder and stuff like that. I mean, Porzingis averages more points. I guess we can go after um, Porzingis first. 
we can match the salary up with obviously Jakob Pearl and Josh Green. Um, or do you want to go after something else other than the center? I mean, the we need a better center. That's the main thing we're missing here. So, Porzingis, actually, uh, do we want to go for Mary Allen? I'll offer the Yakup Pearl and Josh Green. You see what they say? They're gonna decline. Okay, they 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 think they're contenders, so we might not be able to do this trade here with them. They, they think they're contenders. Okay, so now we're not doing it with them. So let's see what else what else we can see. So um. All right, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna try to make a little Cleveland green and a first round pick to acquire Jared Allen from the Cleveland Cavaliers and see what they say. They're going to decline, which is fair. I'll throw a second at them. Not gonna agree to it right away again. Huh, man. I'll throw the rookie Jaden Duran at them and they're gonna agree. Okay, so we get Jared Allen as our new center upgrade over Yakum Pertle, the younger as well. So. Like that addition for us, and now we need Harper off the bench. Get your off the bench. Get your off the bench. We need a backup power forward. Okay. Um. I mean, don't see it anywhere. I mean, it's time to trade Tim Hardaway for one. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Tim Hardaway a one-year deal probably, and then use his contract at the deadline, which sadly means he's. I said I was gonna use him, um, but I'm actually gonna use him this time at the deadline. So, so um, and I think yeah. So tomorrow, I know I said. Great dig would be getting um, additional minutes, but sadly it's gonna have to wait till the trade deadline so we can use his money in a trade. I'm sure I'll sign like a Jonathan Isaac on a one year minimum contract. I guess sure. I also went ahead and signed Josh Richardson. So I will see you guys at the trade deadline to make a trade. I'll also bring in like Andre Drummond just in case we need extra money. And then I will see you guys at the trade deadline to make a trade with the expiring contracts to get a better backup power forward. I think so, yeah. See, he's the first seat. They still got Shea, Green, Ludor, um, Jalen Williams, but <sighs> Ace Noel, just now was Edgecombe, Kate Johnson, and Carl Lewis off the bench. You're joking. But with the second seat, we got Chicago, Kobe White, Zach Levine, Corey Kisper, Cooper Flag, and Mark Williams. Honestly, I like the new team, but you're no match for us. We sweep y'all. But now, oh, we got Atlanta. De'Aaron Fox, and Dejounte Murray, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, A.K. Kung, Clint Capella, Lee Bufkin, and they, no more Trey Young, it looks like, but we are going to, ooh, beat them in seven, I got really scared of the first leg, but now we got Indiana with Tyrus Hallenburn and Jaden Hardy. Tyrus Hallenburn and Jason Tatum is an insane duo, like, if you want me to be completely honest with you, but, I don't know, something about the same team is something to kind of tell me we could beat them just a little bit, but, Game one, we're gonna take, which is great. Game two, we're gonna take. Game three, we're gonna take. Game four, I'll take. So my, actually, we're not gonna take game four, bro. If we choke a three to zero lead, I promise you, uh, I'm, I'm done doing, I'm done doing rebuilds, man. But um, looks like we're not going to. And as soon as I say that, okay, hold on. And it looks like we're not gonna choke it. Okay, beat them in six. Thank you. But now we got. Um, Oklahoma City. Why can't they just ever lose, man? I, I just don't get it, but... Okay, see? You've been my rivalry for the entire 2K24, and I'm not going to let it ruin me again, man. I'm not going to let you guys ruin me. Yeah, and then that's top of the trade line because Jonathan Isaac was a parent was actually playing pretty good, so I decided to just leave it. Game 1, they're going to take. Game 2, Game 3, we... Uh, we're we're going to even it up 2 2. They're going to take the 3 2 lead. Come on, come on. Worse a game 7. And we have the limit. Bro, I'll be so happy if we finally get our adventure in the Thunder after all these videos, man. And sadly, we're going to go. We're going to go by Oklahoma freaking city again. Why is that? Why, why are they so good? I mean, I get the draft picks, but. Freak, man. Going to have to go even crazier in the off season then because we just can't be Oklahoma City. Gonna have, we're, we're, we're doing it for one more year. Gonna have to go even crazier. We need to get another star. We need it because of Oklahoma City. It was just we need to get another star, man. I'm I'm just gonna say we need to get another star. So we're looking looking around the league, see what we can get, dude. Let's see. Apparently, um, I mean, I'm thinking about it, but is he untouchable though? Um, let's see. He's untouchable. Okay, I'm thinking about Anthony Edwards, but untouchable now, so he's obviously not going to be able to. We're not going to be able to get him. So I was thinking about it, but nah. Let's see. Um, Cam Thomas. He's not really a star that I'm looking for. Just a guy that can average 20 points. Um, let's see what I can get. John Morant. I mean, you want to maybe. Trade quickly. I'm not doing that. No season, man. I'm not doing it anymore. We're, we're the one seed. We had money to sign Cameron Johnson, so I just went ahead and signed it, man. Who cares at this point? So, final season. Um, player stats mean 
doesn't really matter, but if we win a championship, we got 22 from Scotty, 20 from Dylan Harper, he developed, 17 from Trent, he's been actually a really, really good role player throughout the whole video, so shout out to Trent, 15, 15, and then 12, they got Chicago, so could be why exactly can cut or not, super fly, we beat this team before, and we are going to beat them again at 6, and we got Detroit, Oh, Columbus, they got eliminated. Bro, bro, I love the Nuggets. I absolutely love the Nuggets. I love the Nuggets. I love the Nuggets. Thank you so much for eliminating Oklahoma City, bro. Let's go. You, you, hold on. You're telling me this team with uh, two random guys starting as their backcourt? Be, the, how is this team better than our team? The, I, no, I, I just sometimes I don't question 2K, bro. But we got Detroit now, and we are going to beat them at five. Now we got Indiana. Halliburton, Stephon Cassell, Jason Tate, this team. Um... 2-2 two, two series, 3-2 three, series, game 7. Game 7. Game freaking 7, bro. Come on, please, bro. I'll be, I will be disappointed if we lose because this, this is actually our chance. This is actually our chance to go ahead and win it all. And we're going to win. Let's go. 128-146. to 37 from Dylan Harper. 20, 20 and 30 and 30 from Tatum. Now we got Memphis. So, Ja, on sex and Desmond Bain, Jabari Smith, Donovan Klingon, Gene Hardy. Floyd, Marcus Smart, and Kobe Brown. Game one, we're going to take. Game two, they even it up. Game three, we take the 2-1 lead. We take the 3-1 lead, and we're going to win the championship. Let's go. All we needed was OKC to look, to get eliminated. I love the Nuggets for that, man. The Nuggets are my new favorite team. But let's see how we win a championship. That's how, you, that's how you win, I guess, man. We had to go all in. It worked, so. I don't know. I don't know if this will actually, if this is actually what the Raptors are gonna do. If they're, if this is how they're gonna reset their team. But it's definitely an interesting video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We finally won a championship. We still, we still, we still couldn't beat the, we still couldn't beat the Thunder. But eventually, I will beat them. So hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Bye bye.